Hey ladies and gents and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing this look right here, this very olive green holiday glam. So if you guys want to see how I got it, thank you for watching. Alright, to start off we're going in with the Melixir Plant Derived Squalene Face Oil. I don't know if I said that right and I know I spelled plant wrong, but I don't know if I spelled that right. But um. This oil is like life to me ever since I've been using it. It has been my go-to facial oil and I went in with my usual philosophies uh, Miracle Worker cream on top of that to give my skin an extra boost of moisture. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Primer and the Too Faced Hangover rx primer i love them both they both do two different things which is why i'm using them together one mattifies and one moisturizes so yeah i'm moisturizing in the spots that need it and priming um, excuse me and using the mattifying primer in the spots that need it so moisturizing primer on the dry parts of my face and matte primer on the oily parts of my face Now I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion in the color Deep Glow. I really, really love this um, liquid illuminator. It is gorgeous. And I'm just bringing that mostly in the part of my face that I want to be highlighted. Usually I will go all over my skin with it. For some reason today I was being, on this day I was being real extra. Now I'm going to take the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color Chai and yeah, I'm going to put it on my face and realize in a minute that I might have put a little too much on, but we'll fix it. That's what we're here for. We learn from our mistakes. also looking hella yellow but I assure you it is my skin tone color it is only because I have a huge light sitting right in front of my face it's sad that I have to explain that but sometimes we get people who make really immature comments so I gotta address it it matches me Now we're moving on over to the eyes and I don't even have to introduce this product. You already know what I'm about to put on. So we're just gonna blend it out and head over to the eyeshadows. Going in with the Crown Pro Eyeshadow Palette. I'm taking that color right there, the one I'm about to pound to up at the top of this video. That color, I'm sorry I can't tell you the name of it, but any brick red, or I'm sorry, brownish red transition color will work. Um, if you had, if you have boxy charm, then you probably have this palette. Just any brownish red, reddish brown color in the transition area. That's that's what you need right there. And we're gonna blend for the gods. Now taking the color, I think it's nude tude, or I'm sorry, yes, nude tude, and we're gonna take that color and blend it into the crease. And this is from the Morphe, um, the Morphe 35M palette, also known as the Boss Mood palette. Now going in with the color Green with Envy, also from the Boss Mood palette, and I'm going to take that in the crease and deepen, further deepening the crease out, or should I say smoking the crease out. I didn't know that these colors were gonna, were gonna 
turn up this dark when I put them on I thought you were gonna see more of green so now I'm going in with express yourself which is a more vibrant green color and I'm putting that on top just to blend it um, just to give the other colors that we applied earlier a little bit more green uh, hues to them taking the color sheen stealer which is an olive golden color and I'm applying that on the rest of the lid This color right here blew me away. That's putting it on dry. Like I didn't even wet my brush for this. It is gorgeous. And I'm doing it with the packing motion. So one, I don't get any fallout and two, you get much more color payoff packing this um with the glitter in it it's just gorgeous Ugh. going in with green with envy and nude tude once again and i'm going to blend those down on my lower lash line i'm using a flat smudger brush for this and then i'm going to go in later with a more fluffy small shader brush to blend it all out Taking Sheen Stealer again, applying a little in, on the inner tear duct area, and then with my finger going in and patting on some more of that color to bring out that glittery vibrancy that, oh, it's just amazing. Taking just a random um, cream eyeshadow and applying that on my brow roll area. Taking my e.l.f. Precision Liquid Liner in the color black to line my lash line. I swear the camera does not do that color justice. It is amazing. Off camera, I'm applying the Ardell Glamour Lashes in Style 122 and the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. Now it's time to finish the face. I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Dark. And I believe it's the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer in Deep. The Too Faced one is a little too dark and the Better Skin is a little too light. So I'm mixing those together to get my perfect shade. Everything I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Earth Real Setting Powder. I love this powder. To set my face, I'm using MAC Studio Fix Press Powder in NW45. I probably shouldn't have to introduce this one either because I use it in every video. But it's my holy grail. It's my go-to. It never fails me. Going in with the Becca Sunlit, Sunlit Bronzer in Maui Nights. I'm going to bronze my skin, bring a little definition back. 
a little color. Then I'm taking the CoverGirl Queen Bronzer in the color Ebony Bronze and I'm using this one mostly in the cheek area to chisel them out. Not that I need it thanks to my jeans, but I'm saying it's nothing like a popping cheekbone. <laughs> and I went in with Max Raisin Blush on the cheeks because when I don't know what blush to wear, raisin is my go-to. Taking the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 Setting Spray and I'm going to set my face and prepare it for the highlighter. And for highlighter, I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. Taking the Jordana lip liner in the color brown suede, I'm gonna line up my lips, fill in the corners of my mouth, and emphasize my cupid swirl like I normally do, as well as the dip in my bottom lip. And I know you guys are probably tired of seeing this one, but I'm taking the Orpha Liquid Lipstick in the color Verona. I'm sorry guys, I did not realize how much I've used this liquid lipstick. It has been hands down my favorite by far of this year. Favorite shade, favorite formula, everything about it, amazing. And that completes the look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sticking around for 12 days of La La Vu. I will catch you in my next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.